Hi guys, I'm back again for the weekly oracle reading. For those of you who are just tuning in, welcome, I'm Anne. And in this video, I'm going to be giving a general love reading focusing on divine counterparts. That includes soulmates, twin flames, twin rays, um, past life connections, and basically anybody that you're connected to romantically, please stay tuned and watch. I'm sure there's a message um, for you um, since you landed here. Okay, um, spring fever is hitting and I'm like really excited. I love the weather. I love when things are starting to blossom. Things are starting to get, you know, that, that energy of rebirth. You know, you can feel it too. And I did my hair and I, you know, I was like so excited. I been wanting to do highlights and, uh, you know, have fun stuff and, you know, had them cut a little bit, you know. I was, I highlighted it. My husband cut them. <laughs> so I have fun with, we have fun with our hair. I do his hair. He does mine. I do my daughter's hair. So, um, yeah, so we get creative. So anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing the same thing. I hope you're doing things for yourself, getting out there, going and, um, enjoying the season because it is beautiful. Okay. So, oh. okay. Sorry about the interruption. Um, phone was always ringing always text coming in. My phone just constantly goes and I got three of them. Okay. So anyways, I laid out the cards. Um, divine masculine right here, divine feminine, take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. It's not basically meant for just a man or a woman or, um, just particular for one type. It's basically two perspectives in the love area. Um, sometimes we are more leaning towards, um, one or the other, and sometimes both. So, like I said, take what resonates with you. So, the first card for Divine Masculine, Boundaries. And you know what? It's important for the Divine Masculine now to put up these boundaries. Um, basically, they're starting to, like, see things. You know, like, we've been seeing a lot of, um, let me just fix that. We've been seeing a lot of um, Divine Masculine going through a lot of uh, purging and releasing. So, now they're starting to come to their senses, their senses and starting to say, okay, well, this is a time for me to start putting out there what I need to do, what I need to put out there and stop procrastinating because every time the divine masculine prevents themselves from feeling love or absorbing love, they're missing out. And that's what they've been doing. I mean, for a long time. So now that they've cleared up a lot, now is a time for them to start putting up the boundaries. I need more out of my life. I need something to do in my life. So they're putting boundaries for themselves, not necessarily for that person or could, could be for that person raise your frequency, act, activate the 12 strands. So basically what this means is um, raise your vibration. So as they are raising the frequency, they are raising what they feel inside their heart that they need to. It's more of like they've been, um, they've been held back for a while and now the divine masculine starts to see, hey, there's something else out there for me. I need to start you know, doing something. So raising your vibration what that means. A lot of people ask me, what does that mean? Well, yeah, it's hard sometimes to raise your vibration when you're not feeling up to it. Yeah. With everything going on, you know, it's clearing up, but you know, still it's out there, you know, things are, you know, like we're restricted. How do you raise your vibration? Well, you do the little things. Like I just explained to you what I did for my hair and you know, like I did have fun with my family, you know, that makes me feel really happy and I'm like all excited. So when you do things for yourself, you're actually, raising the vibration and it doesn't have to be a physical thing. I, I just like to give you an example. That's why I mentioned it. Maybe there's something outside in your garden. Maybe there's something outside that you want to, you know, like fix up and, and, you know, beautify for the, for the summer, um, or the winter. <laughs> Some of you are getting ready for winter and many of us are getting ready for summer. So, you know, whatever it is, you need to just like act accordingly. You know, like, I think it's time for me to start, you know, doing something different. You know, we're, we're doing a lot of con construction in our backyard. I'll show you guys later on my Instagram. We're going to be changing up everything. So it's more of like, you know, projects, Yeah, you know, getting projects together. Even if you're just writing them down, I have a journal and I write everything down, what I'm going to do and I'm going to do throughout the year, just so I can have that, you know, motivation, you know, it's a dream. You know, we have to have a goal. We can't just live on, you know, I'm in these four walls and, you know, I go to work, I come back, you know, eat, sleep, get dressed, do it all over again. We need a dream. We need to raise that frequency. We need to keep going, you know, and, and if you don't do it, you're not going to find yourself in a good place. You know, I put it on vibrate and now it's like really vibrating. Okay. So affirmations, very beautiful card. I love these cards. Yeah. So, um, making affirmations, divine masculine, 
um, might be wanting to start, you know, putting out positivity and, you know, positive dreams and goals is, is key here. Um, because when you put positive affirmations out, like you wake up in the morning and sometimes you wake up and out of bed and you say, thinking to yourself, gosh, I, I just, you know, I don't feel like it. I, I just don't feel like saying anything positive today. And it's like, don't talk to me, whoever's around. And you don't just don't want to look at anybody that happens where you just don't feel like saying positive. And it's like, why, why should I, you should, you know why you're, you got up <laughs> number one, you got up. You know, you woke up, you have another day to start over again, to make it right, um, new beginnings. I always say it's a birthday <laughs> every morning because when you sleep, it's like you're rising, shining, you're up and about and you're, you know, I know it's hard to be like that early in the morning, but you got what I'm saying. So you say the positive affirmations, maybe you write them down in a journal. I am love, I am filled with love, I am beautiful, I'm going to get through this day, I am strong and I'm going to be getting stronger and you know nothing would a if nothing would a I can't or I'll try those kind of words means I'm not going to you know and that's why I always say you know positive affirmations make a statement you know and stick to it because your mind is putting that out there maybe you don't believe it right then and there seriously you can't believe it if you're not feeling it so you just say it right how do I you know I say it too guess what it attracts it attracts that positivity. I want love in my life. I need love. I say it every day. You know, I have love in my life. I have to love all around me. But guess why I have it? Because I keep saying it. I keep giving it. And I won't stop till I get more love and give more love and help with people about love. So that's why I say love. Love is inside of you. It, it just doesn't stop from there. Okay, I got... I got the girlfriend or the wife or I got the husband and I got the perfect relationship and that's okay. No, that, that is okay. But, you know, keep promoting it because you want to help other people. So just show the love, you know, showing the love is, is pretty simple, right? Well, you have to work on yourself. Working on yourself is a big, 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 um, how could I say challenge sometimes because we just don't feel like loving ourselves. We get lazy and we say, oh, I don't feel like it. That, that's a favorite word for everybody. You know, I don't feel like it. You know, with everything, you know, with going on in the world, you know, we, we think to ourselves, can we do this? You know, it's an external love. External and internal. You know, beautiful card. You know, that's true love. The beloved. Um, two, two people just expressing love to one another. Look how pretty the backing of this card is. I'm just looking at it. That, that should be a card itself. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm just admiring these cards. Um, and that's basically saying the positive affirmations is to attract the love in your life because you want the love. Love is, is everything. Love is um, what makes us tick, basically. When we don't have love, we become very negative and sour people sometimes. And, you know, we don't want to be that way. It's, it's happened. And you just don't want to talk to people. And sometimes you don't mean to be rude to someone, but you just don't feel like talking, you know, they're calling, they're trying to, you know, reach out to you. Maybe they sense something is not right. And you're like, I don't feel like talking. Well, you don't feel like talking. You don't feel like talking, but it's basically because they, they love you. <laughs> and you know what? You think about it afterwards because I shouldn't have been so harsh. You know, just, just get that in your mind. I know I, I'm blabbing, but it, it's so true. I know this is a message for somebody. Pay attention to your dreams, divine feminines. Pay attention to your dreams. It's very important. If you don't pay attention to your dreams, you know, like I was just talking to you about how I want to do things in my backyard. I got lots of plans. You know, it's goals. Goals will make you thrive even further. Um, yeah, I want to share with everybody. I want to share with my family, with my friends, with you guys. You know, I share my backyard with you guys, you know, all the time. Whatever I do, I share with you guys. I don't do much, but, you know, the little I do, I share with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see it on my Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. I always post. But basically, that's what it is. You know, you want to be a light. And that's that's the goal. Being a light, paying attention to your dreams, it's contagious. It is seriously contagious. And trust me, we need love and positivity to be extremely contagious over what's going on in the world. Seriously. You know, I don't go into it and I don't like to talk about it because it just, not that it upsets me, but it's just, it's relevant to what my world is, my four walls, my house, what's in my life, 
you know, because that's what you pay attention to. You know, what's going on the outside, yeah, you pay attention because, you know, you, you, you're around it. But, you know, you don't focus on it. You know, it's mainly, you know, it's it's the world and it's going to go like that for 99 years, maybe more. You know, it's been it's been like that forever. You know, that's just the way life is. Keep going. Journey of Helmond. And that's beautiful. I love these colors. So keep going. Divine Feminines, pay attention to your dreams. You see this? Pay attention to your dreams. Keep going. And that's a little honey. Yeah, she's been a little barky today. Paying attention to your dreams because when you keep going, you are focusing on a divine dream inside of you. Maybe something you've been saying, I'm going to take a trip one day. You know, once things clear up, you know, and I've been saying that too, I'm probably going to take little mini trips myself, you know, even if it's just drivable, you know, for a couple hours, you know, you go somewhere, stay overnight, bring your pups, you know, it's, it's all good. You know, you're basically living that dream. You're keep going, you know, you, you, you have, you have a destination. This is the destination in your life that you need to keep pursuing. I want to start doing this and having this in my life and Maybe that relationship that you're involved in is not going anywhere, but you believe in it. And there's something about it that you feel, I need to, I need to put a little bit more effort or I need to talk to them. Keep going, you know, pay attention to your dreams. That dream is there, or it could be that person isn't going anywhere in your life and you feel like you're in a dormant area. You need to just start opening up to yourself. Intuition, follow your intuition. Follow what your heart says. Follow what your mind says. We'll love in your heart. And you can do this. You can actually do this. If you don't follow what your intuition says, you know, you're, you're missing out on a big, big part of what, um, what is necessary for you to find um, joy with love and, you know, messages that are coming through. You know, messages come through to us all the time. Yeah. Um, how they come through? Well, this is, I'll, I'll explain it. You can be out just sitting there <laughs> and you get a message, you know, or, you know, you, someone texts you and they, and they have this, like, they said something to you. Guess what? Something, th something happened. And then you get, ah, oh, there's a message here. And then you see something and then it just, it just happens. Or you could just look at the clock or you can just turn on the TV you can walk down the street. Someone could just say, Hey, did, I want to tell you something. I've had that happen many of times. Messages come through, pay attention to them. They're not just something that people are just coming to you randomly. They are um, true messages. Detach, seek refuge, the legend of Spider Woman. Spider Woman! Okay, now that's interesting. I love this card. Um, detach and seek refuge. What does that mean? Well, find a healthy place inside of you. Um, detach yourself from the drama. Detach yourself and follow your intuition, what you need to do. And detach yourself and seek what your heart is telling you. Your heart is saying, I need something in my life, but I'm not looking at it. I'm not getting it. What do I need to learn? What do I need to do? That's where you have to follow what your heart is saying. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen when you're looking for it. No, it's going to happen when the time is right. Okay. So make sure you don't put too much pressure on yourself trying to figure that out because it's not going to happen when you're waiting for it. It's not going to happen on your watch. It's going to happen when the timing is divine. So if that relationship doesn't seem like, you know, it's going anywhere and maybe he's not calling or he's not texting or he's just not calling, he's not just bothering and you guys are separated, it's going to happen on divine timing. Oh, and there goes my phone again. <laughs> you need to follow what your, 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 your energy is inside, inside your heart. You know, I need to stick it out a little bit longer or I need to just walk away. You know, follow what your, your, your message is getting. Pay attention. You know, I feel like this is a message for someone. Don't give up. I feel like saying that to you right now. Don't give up. You know who I'm talking about. I, I don't know who I'm talking to directly, so I don't have nobody in mind, but I just felt a message to tell you don't give up. Okay. So a lot of powerful messages and, um, very beautiful energy coming through these cards. So a lot of love. Um, I hope that they resonated with you because they resonated a lot with me too. And if you find that this can help someone else and it can benefit them, by all means, please, um, share this, um, this video, um, with whoever, um, so they can get the, the messages as well. And if you didn't resonate with it, 
all that much. Maybe you can revisit this uh, video because maybe there's more messages or you'd like to rewatch this video. You know, I'm, t I'm just saying this is what happens to me. Sometimes I hear the messages and I'm going like, yeah, that sounds like me. Yeah, that sounds like me. And then when I rewatch it, I'm like, oh my gosh, how did I not get that? Seriously. And write it down. Always write it down. I have a journal that I write down my messages, you know, and then meditate over them and see what comes up. Okay. Um, if you'd like to get your own um, personalized reading, I do offer phone chat and email readings. Um, the links are down below in the description area. I'm trying my best to get to everybody first come, first serve. So that's how I go by. I don't do anybody, you know, in like, okay, you know, an emergency reading or, uh, you know, prioritize, uh, pri prioritize anybody um, over anyone. But what I do is I, I do get the live readings done a lot quicker because it's live, you know, phone ch and chat. that They do have more of a higher priority where email it's more of like it's on convenience you're on the go you just like to you know know some things and you know you're, you're not looking for you know the timing to be so quick because they are t more time consuming on me as well because I do them I do them mostly at night but sometimes I do them in between in between my live readings so my main readings if you want to ask me which readings would I suggest the, the main readings would be the live phone or chat because those readings I will get back to you within um, usually within that minute, I mean, as soon as you, you text, um, um, not text, but as soon as you, as soon as you submit for a live reading, phone reading, submit the submission form and I'll text you back if I'm, if I'm ready right then or whenever the timing is good. Um, let make an arrangement for appointment. Okay. So that's a lot of words. <laughs> okay. Cause a lot of you ask me and I'm just wanted to explain it. Okay. So, um, I just want to say one more thing. Thank you guys for always reaching out to me. It means the world to me. I love, 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 love you all. It's um, it's an honor to be on your device and um, to be here for you to help you on your spiritual journey. And a lot of you've been telling me you watch me for years. And uh, thank you, thank you. And I and you come out to me like two, three, four, five years later. I'm like, wow, I didn't know. <laughs> and I feel so honored. You don't know how that just makes my day. Okay. Um. So until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.